to my channel to girl ethel and today i'm here with ayuma k Pokemon. right so you've seen her in my videos quite a lot and uh yeah she's my girl this video is just uh is about questions that people ask that are wrong we personally we think that is wrong so we're going to touch on topics like marriage babies and, um, and then uh, sex mental health how people have been handling the lockdown yeah. and also um a lot going on in nigeria a lot going on in the uk europe and everything about congo south yeah, africa about so, black lives yeah. matter and a lot of people um losing their lives and, and yeah. all that so yeah about mental health really yeah so to begin um i, I think i'll start with talking about marriage so you know when you're young, let's say the African in our African community, if you are in a certain age, let's let me put it this way, especially if you're a girl, yeah, from two in your twenties, mm -hmm. then people start to ask, when I get married. I mean, it's it's so wrong. It's so wrong for people to keep asking. Mostly these questions are targeted to people um in their early 30s yeah like right. 20 no, no 25 not 20. 26 no no yeah early 30s no but no not early 30s because i've been there okay when yeah, people yeah. see you, especially yeah when you're going to 30 columns so our aunties yeah. mm -hmm. <laughs> family members then they get start they, they, they start getting worried yeah oh you are now 25 what are you waiting for you need to get married yeah. you need to i mean have kids it's it's so wrong, it's but so I don't wrong. know why people keep asking though. Like, I don't know why exactly. they keep asking, but exactly. I mean, first of know. all, if they see you walking with a guy, they think you guys are going out, even right. though you are just friends. And then when you get someone that you are, I mean, you guys are trying to study each other, so you are dating. Let's yeah. let me put it this way: dating, dating, yeah. And then it's also another problem. Mm -hmm. So my question. So you guys out there, especially our moms, our aunties, our African, you know, the African community, the African society. Yeah. Why do you ask people, when are you getting married? I um, mean, I think like in the positive side, I would say that sometimes other people basically ask that not because they want to put some kind of pressure on you. Exactly. But yeah. just that they want to know if you've got someone or if in case you they just want to know wh where your mind is yeah but then really why should someone's business be your business if the person is not married you don't know what the person is going through yeah it could be their mental health it could be depression it could be something else i mean it could be that the person is not working yeah. the person has not got is not yet ready mentally yeah. physically mm -hmm. spiritually and emotionally the person is not ready so you trying to push the person to go into a relationship and to start dating might end up the person in a very bad situation and bear in mind there are so many divorces i don't know if if you've realized that yeah the divorce so rate divorces. is so high exactly and this is part of it you push someone to get married and at the end of the day the person is in it you you telling the person to get go and get married you are not in the marriage so you don't know what is going on yeah. inside right so it turns out that they just divorce and they go separate ways mm -hmm. and then it will start to be another topic and the oh she, they, <laughs> she has just left the marriage she could not stay in the marriage so basically i'll just say in general that in the i'm talking about the marriage part yeah don't let people push you to do things that you don't want to do mm -hmm. do you get what i mean yeah you should don't just rush. do things on your own time exactly on your own time yeah. god's time is the best if, when the right time comes listen no one is going to stop you it's as if god is coming to bless you and someone tell you no i won't let god bless you oh are you god <laughs> <laughs> so just take your time don't rush yeah. let things happen let it flow i mean just you are single not because god and bear in mind in the bible it's not everyone who's going to get married and it's the same way not everyone who's going to have babies so if you see someone out there they've they've got married for like 10 years 12 years whatsoever and yeah. they've not had babies exactly. it's not because they cannot produce babies 
Probably they've tried some of them. There is no problem with them. They are not having issues whatsoever. But it's because God's time is not yet right for them. Yeah. So they could be praying. They could be doing what they want to do just to have the babies. But just let them be. It is as if someone wants to be fat. You don't know why the person is, is being fat. Look at me right now. <laughs> Right now, I'm, very, I'm putting on weight. Let me be in the right time. I'll go back to being slim. Your actual size. Yeah, my actual size. So just let me be. It could be the stress. Do you get it? Because I quite remember, you know, during the wedding. Yeah. Honestly, I was so stressed. Yeah. Very, I mean, there's very so stressed. much to handle. So obviously, you will be stressed. And I was thinking I was going to lose weight. I realized that Desmond was losing weight and I was gaining weight. <laughs> So I mean, my mom some was people like, stress and then gain weight. Yeah. You said you are stressed, but I don't see you. You are rather gaining the weight. Yes. And honestly, I was very scared. I wasn't going to fit in my dress. But then, you know, thanks be to God, I found plan B. But anyways, so just don't let people, I mean, pressure you to go into relationships. Yeah. Guys, on... Oh, yeah, that's Desmond. <laughs> yeah, let me just touch on... No, Desmond is not here today. You saw his face. Yeah, he's the one calling. <laughs> <laughs> Ever since we got married, oh yeah, how is marriage life? It's good. It's, good. <laughs> it's pretty good, guys. Yes, as I said, take your time, but if you're in, make sure you enjoy because there, 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 there could be days that it wouldn't be. It would, sweet. Yeah, I wouldn't say it's boring, but I'll, I'll let me put it in. It could be boring, yeah. but if uh, spicing things it, up, yes, you need to spice the marriage. You get it. Any little thing that you think you guys can do just to make yourself fun, you know, have fun. Just, you're still young, you need to have fun. And because you're, mar you're married, don't think that the, those people who are not married, they are like evil people whatsoever. Because I've seen yeah. some people that they are married and like, oh, if you are single, they, they, you they, have, they, they don't want to be close. Yeah. Listen, yeah. you were once there, then the fact that they are not married doesn't mean that they are evil or something or they're going to, you know, influence you to do something. No. You're old enough to take care of yourself. He should know that some was things good, that was not, good and was not good for you. So you can still be friends with your friends, but you need to know that there are some certain things that you shouldn't be saying, certain things that you shouldn't be doing. Yeah. So it's entirely up to you how you make your marriage work. Good. guys to um, take care of your mental health that's the most important thing yeah. within this year honestly if you have life that's what matters the most honestly so so i think this should be all so capable has been so quiet in this video. no i haven't i haven't basically but it's just that i don't want to interrupt while you're talking oh, you i've should. already said a lot <laughs> um, about the mental um, that's most important so <laughs> i want you guys to um, take care of your mental health that's the most important also um touch on the lockdown you know this year has been a tough year very, honestly very, it's been a very, very tough year for everyone yeah i mean like i went through so much like yeah. even from the start of the lockdown i had a panic attack and everything because of the news what was going on social media about the lockdown about COVID 19 and everything yeah. so i decided to you know like not listen to anything to not watch the news to not follow up with this COVID 19 and everything i mean it's good i'm not saying you shouldn't follow up you can follow up but for my mental health and for my you know well-being yeah. i i do not watch the news i do not well i make sure i keep safe and all that but i just make sure i don't watch the news because you just get I know myself. Attack. Yes, so I don't want that thing from you know from I, I try to prevent that thing from happening. Yeah. And this year, like I said, has been a tough year. Black Lives Matter, um NSAS in Nigeria, Congo, and South lot, Africa. You, and and a whole lot. And Ghana, you know, so there's it's been a lot of a people lot of losing their lives. Yeah. going through so much you know losing their loved ones and everything so i mean this year a lot of people have gone through so much that we don't really it seems that we don't really talk about i think the mental people's mental, people's mental health, health is mostly like very really important, important. Yeah. and i know like if you in case you're watching and you're going through so much just because of what is happening in the world right now i we mean you can to to you, you can go to you can go to your friend turn to your friends and talk to you you or can call you, us <laughs> yeah I know. Our, our email is down in the description box yeah. just call us email us we can talk you know we are here for you we are all family yeah. so mm -hmm. yeah and if 
there is anything that you can do to make yourself happy do it go for it even if you have to exercise to release mm -hmm. some stress yes. or listen to music or yeah. if you're like a christian and you want to pray whatever that you yeah. think you do that makes you happy just do it just go do for it, it. and do make it. sure you prevent yourself from you know these you know stress and anxiety and depression it's not just, really worth it so, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll just touch on that just try and stay i mean uh away from social media as well if you know you are very depressed you're very stressed yeah. because trust me it's going to increase yeah. that and you just have to move away from that just stay calm get some you know calm music music if you don't want to call us to talk to us we talk yeah. a lot so if you want to talk to us trust me <laughs> you will love us but then netflix is there amazon uh what's it called prime, prime. There are so many things like you can read books, yeah. you can dance, and also people you know, think people think that social media is too negative. Like, well, um, I'm not, I'm not saying yeah. it's not. It is, but then, like for instance, when yeah. this inside this Nigeria, the stuff that was going on in Nigeria happened yeah. around that time, like a few weeks ago, um, I was on social media. I'm very active on social media, like very, very, very active. Very active. <laughs> but then I was trying to prevent myself from watching these videos, these videos because yeah. all it's... I saw a lot of videos, but I didn't watch it. Trust me, I... you can do your best by going on social media, but preventing Prevent. yourself from yeah. seeing certain posts that will put you down. So basically, you can Some just of the try and avoid where... them. And if you have to unfollow other people, you can just do it. Sorry for you. I've done it so many times and I'm still doing it because um, I think, well, we have normal people who just follow you just to know what is going on in your life. Trust me, and I'm all for it. If you want to know everything that's going on in my life, just do it. <laughs> but there are some certain people to they follow you just to, you know, uh, I don't know if they want to make you feel, on. I'll put it this unhappy, I'll put it that way. But just bear in mind. Love yourself, no matter what anyone tells you, no matter what you see out there. That in this life, listen, life is not like a rose. It's not always beautiful, always True. perfect, mm -hmm. right? There will be negative time. There will be positive time. Yeah. You need to embrace both and just cherish life. Live your life. Do what makes you feel happy, and don't do it because someone tells you to do it, or don't do it because you're doing it to you know please social media or to please someone. We wanted to get married in July, right? <laughs> yeah, but the current the coronavirus, the lockdown, and all that. So we wanted to postpone it to next year. Bear in mind, we were getting married not because we wanted to do it for people, just to come and have fun and go, but we wanted to do it because we felt that that was we wanted to do it at that time. Yeah, do you get it? But at a point, we sat down and we're like. In God's own time, God knows what he was doing. No one knew the 2020 things was going to happen this way. But yet still, God has, I mean, uh, he has counted us among the living. We are still alive. We should be grateful and embrace life and then, and be up and appreciate God. Do you get what I mean? Sure. So I was like, then we sat down and I told Desma, listen, I think, why not have a wedding now? Whether with just few people, with few family and friends, and then that's it. Then if you want to wait to next and just have just a party or you don't want to have any party, that's entirely up to you. Do you not have any event or whether it's birthday, wedding, whatsoever, because of people or because of gifts or because of support or something. Do it because you want to do it for yourself. So, yeah. Do you get it? And don't, don't let the expectations be too high. That, oh, I'm expecting someone to come and give me something. Well... If you know me, she knows me better. I don't know if you guys know me. I'm that person that, listen, I don't really care. If it's my birthday, if you want to give me something, that's fine. If you don't want to give me anything, that's entirely up to you. I don't expect anyone to give me something. So far as I've got life, that's enough. If you want to give, do good, do it. Don't do what you are doing it to please. You're doing it to please someone, right? So just have fun. Just live life, okay? Yes, listen. Anything that brings money on the table, Master, I mean for it. Call yeah. me. <laughs> That's good. Yeah, so I've got my business. It's on Amazon. What's it called? eBay. eBay. Yeah, it's on eBay, eBay as, as well. well. Yes, you nearly forgot. Yeah, it's and on, on eBay Instagram. and on Instagram. Also on Facebook. So it's DB Closet. I'll leave the link, link in the description so you guys can check it out. I'll also pop it out somewhere here just so you can see the page on Instagram and on, um, what's it called? On Amazon, Amazon. as well. 
and uh, capable is also into business, girls. <laughs> I told <Okay>. you, <laughs> Sammy, to business anything, just link me up. I sell fragrances, so you can follow me on Instagram. Um, my personal Instagram is Jennifer Ohima capable. capable, and then my business page is Ohima Fragrances. So you can follow both and then you know support what I do. Like, this is black owned business, guys. Yeah. Support our channel. So, she's got a YouTube channel where she does, she's into fashion, life, lifestyle, and uh, what else? Yeah, what else, what else? lifestyle and then fashion. Yeah, and yeah. then fashion. And I'm into, you know me, it's about marriage, it's about food, 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 <laughs> food, and also lifestyle education. And yes, most important, I bring you inspirational talks. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, I hope you guys are okay. If you're not, as I said, you can still get in touch with us. So, let's yeah. be friends. You can comment below or you can DM us on Instagram. Yeah. So, we we'll leave the go. links in the description. Yeah. But check us out. We are here for you and we are all each other's keeper. So, True. if you want to have a collaboration with us, you can email us. I'll still leave the links in the description box. So, this yeah. video, as I said, it was going to be just questions that people ask that are wrong so that was my uh what was it um what did you touch on mental babies health. babies and mental health. Yeah. yeah so now that i'm married you people don't come and ask me when are the babies coming <laughs> they'll come when they want <laughs> <laughs> Let God do the rest. You people should leave me alone. I know, I know. Yes. On board, Baba. I want to go. No, I want to go. I'm bamba. You babysitting. You guys will see. <laughs> so yeah, that's all for today. Like this video, share this video, comment down below, down below, and uh, subscribe to this channel. However, give check it a thumbs up yes. if you like it. Yes. Check us out. Support our businesses, guys. Mm -hmm. Please, 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 this is a black owned business. Support our business. Well, I'll leave the, uh, the link in the description box so you guys can check it out. So it's DB Closet and uh, Ohima Fragrances on right? Instagram. On Instagram. Yeah. Is it on Facebook as well? No, just no, on at Instagram. the moment. Yes, yeah, so it's just on Instagram. And follow our YouTube channels. So I've got two YouTube channels. One is Aquila Babs, where uh, it's everything about God. So gospel music and uh you know word of god and all the word of visitation and all that that's where all that is here on this channel life is that is just my life i'm just me this is me <laughs> it's, just, it's just me <laughs> so until next time in my next episode of uh, you know catching up with yeah. my girlfriends bye, bye. Okay. see you later take care bye